And back with Bruce Boudreau now. Uh, Bruce, John Tortorella named Sean Couturier captain just on Valentine's Day. We're a little over a month removed, and Couturier seems frustrated over being made a healthy scratch. First of all, what is your take on Tortorella's decision to sit the player that he just gave the seat to? Well, I, I firmly believe that this was sort of uh, a shock culture for him in that he needed to shock the team into playing better because they were floundering. And I don't think it's something John took lightly or anything, but uh, I think he, he uh, sat four veterans that night. And, uh, I mean, I don't think it's going to happen again. I mean, I hope to God it's not, to be quite honest. But, I mean, I mean the captain he names a month ago, and now he sits out. But I'm sure that, uh, that John talked to him before. Nobody's going to ever like to be sit out, uh, sat out. No, it doesn't matter who you are. For, you're the best player or call-up player. You don't want to be sat out. But at the same time, like, I mean, he would have, I'm sure, trying to explain it to, to uh, Sean, and, um, and, it would have, and it would have gone something like, hey, listen, we've got to get the team on track. You haven't been playing good. Maybe a break. You, you know, you missed two years. But, I mean, we'll get you right back into the lineup the next game. But this has got to be something that we, it's drastic, but we've got to try it. Maybe it'll work. And it worked for one game. Toronto had beaten them seven in a row. Toronto had beaten also uh, uh, them pre the previous week, and they'd beaten them pretty good. So, I mean, they needed something to shock them into playing great. Now, I think they got that They got, they got that for them, and now it's a, it's a case of let's get the captain back. Let's get the other guys back in. Let's go after them and hope everybody learned a lesson from this and that it doesn't have to happen again. Well, there's been a lot of reaction to it, of course. I want to ask you about one. Uh, one of Tort's former players, Brandon Dubinsky, was quite vocal about the decision. He wrote this on X. Uh, Tort's, your tactics are getting old. Instead of scratching and embarrassing your captain and one of your best players, how about try and tell him, I'm giving you 20 minutes tomorrow night, and no matter what, power play and penalty kill, go play free, have fun, and uh, bleep, get it done. Uh, if a former player of yours was openly critical of your coaching, would it matter at all to you? No, I mean, you have to do what you have to do. Like, I mean, I get what Brandon is is saying because that probably might have been my approach at one point. But at the same time, you've got to be a conviction of the way you think. And with John, you can't let players um, uh, change your, your thought process on that. If he thought that that was the thing to do to get this team, because he's thinking about only about the team and only about winning, is that that's what he had to do. So you can't let other people come in and and tell you what to do. You've got to believe in your own convictions, and that's what John's doing. And, I mean, I would uh, guarantee that he's not going to listen to Brandon Dubinsky at this point. Yeah, and Tortorella wasn't the only coach, or has, certainly hasn't been, to get upset with his players. Patrick Waugh was asked about yeah. Elias Sorokin and said, I'm not 100% pleased with him. It's obvious, and I'm sure he's not 100% pleased with himself. Uh, you're no stranger if you'll recall, to having Patrick Waugh upset with you. Uh, do you like Waugh's approach to dealing with his star goaltender? Well, first of all, I don't like Patrick getting upset at me anymore. So, I mean, <laughs> I got to watch what I'm saying here. Like, I mean, because his eyes, when, when he got upset with me that night in Colorado here, his eyes were rolling back, and I'm looking. He's about six, six foot three. He's a big guy, too. You know, I'm a little munchkin here. And uh, I, was, I, was, I was scared to death, but... You know what he's saying? He's just being matter of fact. If anybody knows goaltending and anybody's going to respect goaltending, I mean, or what a goaltender has to say, it's got to be Sorokin on Patrick. So, I mean, he's looking at this, he's observing it, and maybe he's looking to try to say, Sorokin, um, do this approach. Say, yeah, I'll show you right now, and I'll, I'll play, uh, I'll show you who's good and who's bad, rather than, I mean, uh, the other way. Now, by this time, Patrick knows the personalities of all the players. So he knows what buttons to push on each guy. There's some guys you might say that to and might just cringe and, and go the other way. But I got to firmly believe that the next game Ilya plays, he is going to play great. And it's going to be like he's going to take great pleasure in saying, Patrick, there, take that right now. Great perspective from our coach, Bruce Boudreaux. Thank you for this. Hey, it was my pleasure. Talk to you guys later.